hit it right here. I almost missed the club. That is what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh! Oh, I actually caught him both. Welcome back to another Stephen Casey video. Today, I have a very strange video, and the video idea actually came from Kyle Berkshire. It didn't come from him, I just stole this from him. What we're doing today is, as you can see, we have a regular size putter, aka what me, Garrett, Kyle would use. And then we have... Here we go. Maybe this is going there. A Tig and Matt <laughs> size putter. This is actually, uh, they just got fitted for this. Honestly, it's a pretty good putter. It's, it's built after a Scotty, as you guys can see. They had to, of course, bring the metal down to two centimeters. Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. Someone's been tagging me on Instagram and I finally found one of these. It was kind of like insane. I've actually test putted it and it rolls pretty pure, but it's it's about the size of my thumb, about a half, so my thumb's a full inch. That's a big inch. <laughs> oh, my thumb is literally an inch. <laughs> yeah. It's really small. It is the world's smallest putter. <laughs> we're going to be playing with this. The three-man scramble until we get on the greens. Once we get on the greens, we're going to use this tiny putter. It, this has been one of my dreams. I had the world's biggest putter. Shout out Eric. Link will be in the description. And now I have the world's smallest putter. So we're about to see. I'm about to have fun with this. I hope you guys enjoy. If you're new, the subscribe button. It's not an option. You have to hit the subscribe button right now. You know why? There is no reason. But if you don't, I'll find you. Slap a like on the video. Let's see if we can't get 10,000 likes. It's been a long time. I always say this BS, but actually, if each one of you hit the like button, I'd probably get about 30,000 likes. <laughs> that's, that's true. That'd be good. No, That'd be your most liked video. Let's be honest. It's yeah. like video is 17,000. We keep talking anyways. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Also, keep hyping it up, but in end of March, I'm going to go on an adventure and build a one whole golf course with a bunch of pins on it off a of bluff on my property in Missouri. So get ready for that. I know it's gonna be hype. I'm gonna announce it. I'm gonna do a video and show you the land and all that, but I'm gonna announce everything. So get ready. Summer's about to be lit. I'm gonna be building a golf course. It's also gonna be a slash of farm. There's gonna be animals running around. You know the vibes. Anyway, let's get right into it. First hole is a par four, uh, 398 yards, but it goes directly right. He's got a driver in his hand. He got the new Mizuno. It, it's been treating him right. I'm not gonna lie. I'm treating him real right. You dig? I like it. Yeah, you can get really, this oh is... my. Oh, that is going to be so good. Oh my goodness. I don't know if this guy can see that, but that almost went through the fairway. That's how long that thing went. Oh, you going to go second? You donkey. See, look where the tee, top of the tee was, so that means the ball was right there, which is 1.50 smash factor. You know about that? The driver's been feeling good. The game's been feeling good. Bro, you got them mat hooks from Purcell Farms, brother. I'm in the fairway. I, I'm not going to complain. Anytime a ball goes in the fairway, I just have the hooks right now. It's because of this driver. I don't have my driver quite yet. All right, here we go. Sharf. That was smart. All right, that's just going to be a little right. It might be in them bushes. But if with that wind, if I cleared them bushes, I should be pretty solid. Your, your golf course should be fenced in. Uh huh. You have some animals in there, and then people need to tag Flair, and Flair needs to bring some animals. Uh oh. Oh, Flair uh -oh. needs to bring his camel. Uh oh. Hey, hey, we might have. Some, I don't know if you guys know who Flair is. He is part of the Guggen Squad. He has an actual farm with a bunch of crazy exotic animals. You need I, to team up with him and do that. Dude, we might. But no, my my dream has always been able to involve. I love. I I've always been around a farm with animals roaming around at this point i'm able to actually build i, I mean i can't build a full golf course of course because that, that's millions of dollars but i can build i can build a really nice one hole probably par four put a bunch of tee boxes on i i can do that now and i can also have farm animals and take care of them i don't know youtube is just i guess put me in the right space so i'm just going to accomplish one of my goals it's been a long time goal i always said i'm going to build make a golf course on this hill i used to always look up walk up to it and be like this is it so now i actually can so that's what i'm gonna do dude my shot is actually fire anyways here's where tig has landed we have about 40 50 yards away tig you put us in a good who, position who should go first definitely you go last because you're really good at coming in behind literally he what do you mean he, he comes in clutch every time we need him Doc, if we put this like two inches and then we only have to use that little putter like we gotta have a challenge i know but there'll be putts trust me put it to two inches wait well matt's got <laughs> I respect it for giving us a challenge. Literally hit it right here. I almost missed the club. Ooh. Well, Steven, that was the shot, but 
Okay, that is a little bit long. Hopefully we can get something a little closer than that. Oh, it's right on my line. Look at that. There's where my divot is and there's where my ball's at. Long putt, Tig. That's what I figured. That is what I'm talking about. Bro, this is one of the moments where- Wait, 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 that, no, thing. that was a solo, that was a solo eagle. This is, you wear this shirt right here, this is what happened. Tig! For some reason I knew that, when I was standing over that, I was like, I think I'm gonna make this. Well, I guess we still gotta figure, we gotta use the putter. Let, let's go putt around with the, the putter. I mean, Tig just made a solo eagle. You little rabbit. That, that was solo, it was, it was no one else but Tig, but hey. <laughs> Really don't need to use a putter on this one, but we'll putter around on this hole just to, just to get some use into it, I guess. But hey, 200 through one. All right, today we're going for the course record. Anyways, Bradley, we're switching. <laughs> wow. Slap a like on the video for that. Jeez, clip it, send a tig. We're just gonna mess around with the putter on this hole. Here. Oh, oh, like it's, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a usable. It's it usable. kind of works. Yeah. Let's go. Yes. yes. Let's go. It feels good to finally be fitted for a putter. Yeah, it's an actual putter. It doesn't, it's not like it's a challenge. It, it, it rolls, but let's get on to a par five, see if we can't make another eagle. Second hole of the day, it is a 500 yard hole, par five. It honestly, we could go back to back eagles, which would be insane. The pole goes off to the left. There's water on the right, which we shouldn't even worry about, but center of the fairway is what we're looking for. All right, Dig, start us off, I guess. That's gonna draw into the fairway. Come on. No, it will. Oh, oh my goodness! All right, that just kicked another 40 yards. You got to play the wind. When the wind's blowing, you can't be afraid to play with the wind. Okay. <laughs> you even having trouble standing up here? <laughs> Bro, we put the tee in. He went. Oh. All right, he's like sorry. Like standing there, and he, he gets his feet too close together, and the his center of gravity is too high, so he's just like. <laughs> what do you call me, a giraffe? Oh. The man is unbeatable, folks. That is funny. Remember when? Yeah, those are the good days. That's not a bad drive right there. You're just a different animal. Matt's been getting into power lifting. I know you guys probably can't tell or don't care. You know. Just, hit, just go hard at this one. Let, let's see that. Let's see that 220 bench going. <laughs> oh, dig. You keep calling me Tig, all right? Why do I keep saying that? <laughs> Dang it, that would have been... And not even as far as me. Hey. Oh, that's way farther than that. It's bro, over the hill. Bro, that's not. No. Steven? No. Bro, you just let a guy that no. benches 225 just. I let a guy who benches 106 pounds. I was under the wind, too, Steve. That's why it was going farther. Trust. 175 yards to the green, but it is a back pin. So we actually do have a really good 185. chance. 185 to the pin. We can eagle this with the little guy. Are we talking about you guys or the little guy? Look at Tig, petting his grass. I'm gonna go first. <laughs> Tig, with the absolute crush ball here. Steve gonna hit this about 185 yards this pin. <laughs> you are, you've got the hooks. Jeez Louise. Three. All right, I got eight iron, I'm trusting that this is the club, you never know. Whatever you do, I'll do. All right, Tig for albatross. Matt, you better hit seven. Yeah, seven's a club. All right, here we go, sharp. That'll be good. Yes. When in doubt, let Matt hit his That's short. Short, but we're we are gonna be putting from a mile away with that little guy. Hey, we're finally gonna use the putter though, right? All right, the putter's finally gonna get put to use from a very long ways away, but hey, you gotta test her out somehow. <laughs> Yep, there we go. Fix your little divot there. It, it fixes divots. Anyways, we got a long putt. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be torturous, but I'm I'm gonna go first. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't it. No, they're good. If they're, they, this thing is good within about 15 <laughs> feet. You get further out, and you, it ain't it. Look at me put my forward shaft lean on it, like I'm gonna do something. <laughs> <laughs> I think we found the max distance. Take anything's good. Oh. Hey, that's progress. That's progress, dude. It's hard. It's hard. We can still make part here and be two under. We got two putts to do this. All right, sharp. I have to zoom in so they can see the freaking club. <laughs> hey, but no, it's good. All right, that's 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 makeable range I, right I there. I pulled it. I pulled it, but that's the motion. Bruh. 
<laughs> I can't hit the center of the club face. He wants to break it, but he knows he can't. I can't. I can't. But... Oh. Did the, see? We, we got to hit some better shots close to the green, boys. Yikes! Oh, that's the line. That's the line. How's he oh, another good Oh, that was the speed there, Sonny. Ah, I uh, flipped at it. That's fine. We're in for a bogey. Uh, one thing we have realized, you got to put the ball close. It's got to be within a realistic putt for this because it's so small and the mass and that doesn't add up. But the realistic range is about inside of 15. Outside of that, you're just pretty much <laughs> tapping your finger around. We got to put the ball close, so that's it. All right, 179, par three. Made a blumble of the last hole, but the pin's in the front location. I think you should go first, Steve. I agree. We got the wind. It's still blowing. I don't know why they didn't turn it off. Pulled it a little bit. That wind honestly held that up pretty good. That is playable though. All right, Matt, get up there. It's just not it. It's just one of those days. Oh, shots fired. Seven iron in hand. Hit it, wind. Let's be the right number. Hit it, wind. All right, that is a makeable putt, Tig. Dang, that was nice. Yeah, said I gotta hit a little draw. The wind's gonna push it back towards the hole. That's exactly what happened. Let's go. Ah, see, it didn't draw enough. See, it's still gonna catch the green. Good shot. Still two, two on the green, one left. It is what it is, but this wind is troublesome. All right, we got a downhill putt for a birdie. Sharp is gonna see if he can't sink it. Be a solo birdie. I was to the right. <laughs> I would have told you that, but I didn't want to mess you up. What? Well, oh. a good roll. I think the key is you got to be a little more steady with it. Oh, you did it again. Did the sharp. Confidence is key, but that ain't it. Yep. I mean, there's the some break on. just so smooth for me, it's just annoying. Dude, I, you guys can see, but Matt's putting stroke with this is actually pretty good for some odd reason. We're still one under. That's just amazing, actually. This is a drivable green as well. See if we yeah, can't poke one out there. That me and you played with that three wood only. We got intense on. Yeah, I won the challenge. Final hole. As you guys can see, it is. If you take it right over this water, there's a good chance you can hit the green. Me and Sharp actually got really close. Depends on how you play the hole. I think we're all going to be going for it, though. All of us can get after this one here. Oh. Dude, the way they hit that tree was like the sound of it was so graceful. It could be good. <laughs> Shut up! Hey, you never know which way these palm trees kick. Hey, don't take touch of my driver. All right, Sharf. It's 283 for right here. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, that was like 83, you said? <laughs> Holy wind. I mean, that's good. Fairway. I mean, that's going to be really good. Just short. I, the wind's with us, so if you get it up in the air, the wind will give you some extra distance. And it takes a little bit more spin off, too, so keep that in mind. I'm thinking about trying to play the shot a little differently. What do you mean? I'm going to play a high fade instead of a draw. Yeah. I, I mean, I like I it. I love that play. Nope. Oh, gosh. Chucky darn. I mean, it went dead straight. Well, I'm right. Tig's left and Matt is in the fairway, so you know what? Not bad. bad. Alright, here Only is where I'm Matt has landed and it is an absolute look, beautiful shot. I cracked my ball. This is the ball that I hit off the tee oh, that I've been is. hitting this ball. Look at it. That is actually, that's impressive. Here, I want to chip in. Oh my god. I just want to do something. Go! What a win in. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that. Dude, today is not... I can't tell if it's the, I don't know what it is. You remember the first hole, Tay? Let's see if we can't yeah. redo that. Oh my God. Bro, your shots are so consistently good, you know? Oh, I pulled it. Funny. Here's where I have landed straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Here's where Tay has landed. Straight up the hill. We have taken one of my shots though. I, hey. Hey, that's all you need to scramble. What do you mean? Hey. Oh crap, that's a good putt. Don't toss my putter around. Hey, Matt, you're okay. Let's roll another pure one. All right. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. I was made for this. 
Dude, we just shot. 200 with the world's smallest putter. Dude. That's actually insane. That is insane. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. What do you guys think about the putter? I love it. I'm literally going to start using it. Like, that's how you can tell I mean, it's perfectly balanced. Like, yeah. It is so, it's a, it's a, it's like a Seymour putter. It's a face balance putter. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, that's like this, but I don't know what it is. I think that is probably the smallest putter that has ever been played on a real golf course. Hey, there you hit, you heard it here, folks, from Tig, the absolute pony of a man. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Shot two under with the world's smallest putter, so you can't beat it. I, I honestly didn't do much today. I just haven't been confident with my club. It, it, and it really, it, it's really hard to switch clubs, what I'm doing right now, because I can't get them switched out. So hard. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We will catch you in the next one.